that tonight, we're also talking about road conditions, how the approaching snow squalls will affect your commute. Peter Aldis, Molly Matat joins us. She's in Linden Corners, where the snow has been piling up over this last hour. Molly. That's right. It's been piling up quick, and me and our uh, photographer Q were making snowballs, and this is really dense stuff. This is what you're driving on top of, and that's what's going to make the road conditions so tough, very slick, and visibility will be reduced. That means busy intersections like here in Linden Corners. This is a five-way intersection that is usually pretty busy anyways, very tough to manage in the snow-covered roads. You'll notice people are already slowing down, increasing their following distance. Tomorrow, you're going to need plenty of time to get to work so get up early and give yourself plenty of time to make that commute now when the weather gets bad like this the kids get very excited about missing some possible school the grown-ups eh, not so much well I'm hoping that we do get a lot of snow because I have a lot of tests coming up and I think an extra day to study would be really nice the kids they're praying for a snow day <laughs> <laughs> uh, me not so much I don't have to go into work till later so I'm okay with it that's right, and today is this condition is a little bit of a training for tomorrow, but we want to tell you that this is not the same snowfall that will impact that. It will actually reform. It'll be just like this, heavy at times, and in other places it'll let up. It's very localized lake effect, so just take it slow on the road tomorrow and prepare, well, for maybe the worst. For now, reporting from DeWitt, I'm meteorologist Molly Matat. Back to you. After all, this really is our first significant snowfall here of the winter. Yeah, we'll see how it goes overnight tonight. We appreciate that, uh, Molly 